Greetings, welcome to this card reading. I really appreciate your time and energy. I appreciate your being here. Uh, I'm really excited to bring you a card reading. Right now it's August 24th, 2020, but you can watch this uh, tarot and oracle card reading at any time. We're using some really cool decks today. For the tarot deck, this is something I really like. It's called Everyday Tarot. You may have seen it because the website is from Biddy Tarot, and she has really great descriptions of each of the Rider Waite Smith cards on her website. So that's where I first learned about this tarot deck. But it's like really classic, but just like so accurate and just a really good. Uh, I just mesh with it really well somehow. So it's really exciting for me to use that one. When I first got it a couple weeks ago, I started getting incredible readings with it for myself. So I'm happy to share it with you too. This uh, card deck is an oracle deck that I got recently. It's called Spellcasting Oracle. This is really fun. There's a theme on each card, and there's also a booklet if you want to incorporate spells with the card that you draw. And then, this is like new to me, but I think it's kind of an older deck. It is Mary, Queen of Angels Oracle. Previously by Dorian Virtue, but I'm considering it from Hay House since uh, she changed like her affiliation or she doesn't do this anymore, but I still like the decks and I just consider it from Hay House, like I said. So I'm, I'm going to do two cards each from each Oracle deck and then probably three or four tarot cards. I want to try something kind of cool before we get started with the cards. I, I know a lot of people incorporate Reiki into their card readings. I do have the Reiki attunements, so I thought we would try something cool and different. I have an amethyst crystal here, so I thought we'd do something where we kind of like, I, I project some Reiki into the crystal, and as you focus on it, you can absorb some of the Reiki too, and it works well because Reiki is a type, of, a type of spiritual energy that transcends time and space in a lot of different ways. So you don't have to be obviously like right here with me or listening to it at a certain time to tune into the energy. So let's just try. Let's see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to use my Reiki hands. <laughs> I always like, I mean, I need to enunciate a little bit more. I said I'm going to use my Reiki hands. It's kind of like the way I walk. When I walk, I like shuffle my feet a lot of times. Not all the time, but sometimes, so sometimes I do that when I'm talking to kind of mumble, which is not ideal for YouTube. Okay, so you can't see this, but I am sending Reiki through the crystal. Whoa, it's pretty powerful. Huh, it's kind of clearing out my uh, top of my head, like I, I can feel it in my almost like behind my forehead, kind of beneath my crown chakra. Pretty cool. So as you're listening to this and watching, tune in to the energy from my hands and the energy from the amethyst. And now I'm going to switch hands. My dominant hand is my right hand anyway. Really great energy coming through. Deep breath and great. That was fun. That was really cool. This is kind of a meditative break. Time to absorb some really cool spiritual energy. The great thing about Reiki is that you, you can't really go wrong with it at all. It's an energy that's very gentle. Like I said, it's um, very flexible. Like You can use it across distances and you can even use it across different times. So it's really um, kind of mind expanding just in and of itself, just the kind of thing it does. So I really enjoy using it when I do chakra readings, which you can find out about on my website more. I incorporate distance Reiki into the chakra readings. Um, I should throw it into more of the readings too, but definitely in the chakra readings. Okay, so I might skip some of this part with editing, but um, I'm going to have to do all the cards now, so I'm going to 
pause and then come back with all the different cards. Okay, I have shuffled the cards and I drew three tarot cards and two of each deck from the oracle cards. I wanted to just show the backs of the cards because they're so pretty. This is the backs of the, what is it called? Spell casting cards. But they're pretty like a pentagram, the tree, and some ivy. Mary, Queen of Angels is this very beautiful kind of traditional image. It could be from some kind of art. I feel like I would see that in a museum or something. And kind of a fun, normal image with the different tarot suits. Okay. So, let's get started by looking at the tarot cards. I shuffled and drew, but I haven't looked at them yet, so let's just see what we find as we go. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. The world card has been coming up so much recently. This is like this culmination. Like so much is coming to a climax and culminating and we're getting ready to go to a totally different stage of life. So the world card is a big signifier of that. A lot of things are coming to a close, but don't worry, it's all about new beginnings but it's going to be definitely wrapping up like some significant themes in your life and you're going to be ready to move to the next stage. Three of Wands, you're seeking out new horizons. You're like, what is coming up? What is it going to be? Like, You want to look out. You want to get new ideas. You want to just basically like I don't know, get that inspiration. Maybe it's a time to get your creative inspiration, but let it kind of simmer for a while as you continue to get that input before you do your creative output. The third tarot card is Two of Pentacles, a card of balance. Okay, so let's look at these cards together. We started off with the Major Arcana card, The World. This is showing a major conclusion, a major culmination. Then we had two minor uh, cards from the suits of wands and pentacles. Uh, seeking out new horizons and balance. So this is like in your new fresh beginning, keep in mind your inspiration and your sense of balance. Let's see what the oracle cards can add to this now. I want to look at the spellcasting oracle first. Interesting. There's only one uh, masculine person in the whole card sense of the spellcasting cards. It's all women except for this character who's kind of like a Merlin character or something, like an old wise man. It says answers. So if, if you're like me, you've been on this spiritual path for a while and you have this kind of balance and uh, give and take between your questions and your answers. Like, I'm never satisfied with certain answers. You know, I think it's a saying, you know, that the questions are more important on the spiritual path than the answers. I think it's definitely true because as soon as I settle on, like, a certain answer to something, like, literally 15 minutes later, I'm like, ah, no, I don't know if that's it. So it's like, what's your relationship with the answers on your spiritual path? Is someone going to tell you your answers? Like, from my perspective, no one can tell me my answers. It's like a contemplative inner thing where I want to be able to meditate and contemplate and think of my own perspective, my own perception, like what it feels right to me. So it's, for me, there's no man with a beard who can illuminate my life with answers. So that, to me, this card would be a rejection of certain old-fashioned things. Yeah. That would be like out with the old. So, to me, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to interpret that card. Oh, and then the inspiration card kind of reminds me of the Three of Wands. You have this like illuminated fairy who it, or a nature spirit who is bringing her light, bringing her inspiration. So, 
It's, it's like she's creating something because she has her abdomen or perhaps kind of her womb or her creativity in her center is illuminated. So it's like she is illuminated from her center, but then she also has this spark that she's unleashing from her hand. So it's like she's kind of like bringing out this inspiration in a really cool way. Let's think of what kind of messages would come through with that as well. Hmm. I might have to write some down. Okay, you know what? Let's finish these cards. Then I'll see if any other messages come through. And then I'll do a third part to this video. Okay, let's switch to the Mother Mary deck, which is called Mary, Queen of Angels Oracle. First card that I got this card yesterday. The love card. That's so sweet. Love is the answer to all my questions. So that would be a different perspective on this card. So I was rejecting this card in a certain way. But if you are looking for an answer, love is the answer. It's like, you know, always coming from a place of love and compassion. You can't go wrong towards yourself and others. You know, can't you can't forget yourself. It's beautiful. Aw, and then the second card is home. I trust and follow my divine guidance about my home. So how can you feel at home in your life? And how can you create a sense of your own cozy home wherever you go and maybe in a physical spot as well? well I'm getting a lot of um warm energy coming through with this card like literally literally that cozy feeling that um, is so heartwarming it's really emanating from this card it's really cool I wonder what angel this is hmm Let's see okay so I'm gonna do messages now and um, edit all this together so I will be back Hello again. I guess it's not going to seem like that much of a break when I edit this, but I took some time to step back and journal. Uh, I, I tuned into my intuition, and or I used my intuition to tune in, however you want to say it. So I got um, additional messages about the different um, themes and cards. The additional messages that I would like to share. Okay, so let's do this. So the first card I got a message about was this one. I felt like this character is a nature sprite. So uh, the message from this nature, nature sprite is, um, it's pretty cool. Okay, the message is, mediocre, soulful art does not exist. Do not be afraid to shine. I think, you know, it's playing off of that image of the shining, the uh, illumination. And the message goes on, do not be afraid to expose your heart and soul to the world. And the, uh, I guess there would be some fear associated with exposing yourself, right? So the message continues, it's not your head on a platter, it's a gentle sharing of your soul vision. So that's really cool. I like that. I'm going to read it one more time. Mediocre, soulful art does not exist. Do not be afraid to shine. Do not be afraid to expose your heart and soul to the world. It's not your head on a platter. It's a gentle sharing of your soul vision. So that's really cool. I like that. That's what came through in my intuition for that card when I took some time to journal and tune in about that. Okay, so the next one is the, this old wise man who I originally like rejected. So let's see what he has to say. I wrote down the message, I'm not separate from you. Don't reject the old wise man, but realize that you are your own old wise man. So that's pretty cool. So I rejected the masculine, but it's actually um, the old wise man is a part of me. Just because I don't have a long white beard doesn't mean I don't have my own wisdom. You know, so it's like we get indoctrinated with a lot of crap as we grow up through different stories and imagery and stuff like that. So this is saying rather than just rejecting something, uh, realize that it could be a part of you. Um, and then the message goes on, feminine and masculine can go hand in hand, and they can also be transcended 
for something more uh, for something more dynamic and true. So that's going on obviously a lot in our culture these days. There are a lot of people who are transcending the duality of masculine and feminine. And even though I feel pretty comfortable with my feminine self, uh, I definitely want to bring out that balance of feminine and masculine within myself and also transcend the duality of feminine and masculine for something better. So I think that's something that's really important right now. And even though it's not as, um, it's not as much in my daily life, it's still something that I consider for my spiritual path. Um, so, anyway, that's kind of interesting. I like that because I definitely, as you heard, I definitely rejected the old wise man at first. Um, oh, really interesting. Okay, the next message is from the tarot cards when I tuned in about that. You'll never believe this, but the image that came through is a mid-sized dark gray pig um, actually, I saw this, I think it was a pig that was kind of like this vi YouTube video I saw of this person who has a really small farm in Ireland. He has these two small pigs, they're kind of like dark gray, and they love to rummage around on this field, so he uses them to tend to his field. And there's two of them, and they're very social, he said, so they need each other, although one of them kind of hogged the food but he tried to make sure they both got food. I think that's the common thing. It's a tangent. That's what happens with different animals sometimes. There's someone who tries to hog everything. Um, anyway, so I just got this image of this pig. It's kind of like the ones I saw in the video a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. And the, the pig loves to rummage around in the mud. So the pig has, like, mud all over its snout. So the message from this pig that's emerging is... Don't reject high or low. Be in balance with, with all of the beautiful and dirty aspects of your life. Relish your messy, dirty, perfect slash imperfect life. It's really cool. I like that. So anyway, I thought that was weird because obviously none of the actual images for the three tarot cards remind me of a pig, but that's the character who came through. Okay, so for love and home, those are the An Mar Mother Mary angel cards. Uh, I got the message, all's well that ends well. This is kind of for me that I'm sharing, and hopefully there's a parallel that you can relate to. Um, love and home, all's well that ends well. Just allow yourself a ceremonial burial for the past. And then I got this image, I saw it in a movie one time, I can't remember what movie it was, kind of like an old period piece where there's like these knights in shining armor and soldiers and stuff. So the movie starts out with a funeral pyre on this kind of handmade barge and it just, it's on a river or something and it's just drifting out. It's like on fire and drifting out into the water. So I guess they could do that back then because they didn't have to worry about uh, littering and just like dumping their funeral pyre in the river. But, um, Anyway, it's a very strong image, right, of something not only dead, not only burning, but also cast away. <laughs> so, it's a ceremonial burial for my past. All's well that ends well. Just cast away, burn away, and let it be dead. So that's pretty strong. Pretty strong image. And then a message for me. I don't know if you care about this message, but... I really want to write things, so the message goes on to say, write your surreal dramas, bring life to the written page. It's never over, so stop trudging along, stop trudging around like you're some kind of zombie or something. So to translate that for you, like go ahead and express yourself in all these artistic ways that are so awesome. Like your heart is like bursting with self-expression, I can tell. and it's not over, so don't give up because it's not over yet. It's never over, so don't give up at all. And cast away the past. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. It's like, the past is dead, so burn it and cast it away. This, this is like cracking me up for some reason. It's just like so overemphasized, right? Um, anyway, so those are the bizarre 
messages and different types of imagery that I got when I tuned into the cards more. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your time and energy and investment in this video, investment of time. I hope it brought some insights for you, either bounce back or inspiration or spark of imagination. I hope you take some time to do your own card readings and journal and all that kind of fun stuff. If you ever want a personalized reading for yourself, you can go to my website or message me or whatever and we can talk about what kind of reading you would like. It's really fun. Obviously like a lot of cool weird imagery comes out so it's really cool. Uh, talk to you next time. Bye.